Hi, I'm Jose Feliciano, and uh, I just want to say that the work that uh, WIPO is doing is fantastic work, uh, and I think that all of the, uh, the countries should allow, for example, uh, if a book is translated into Braille in a different language, whether it be Spanish, English, Arabic, or whatever, uh, whatever laws there are that don't allow for this to be done should be waived because nobody is going to make a profit out of a translated braille book. And the other thing is, just imagine what your life would be like if you could not educate yourself, if you couldn't read uh, and you couldn't function. Because after all, we're functioning in a sighted world and the sighted world, unfortunately, forgets. They forget that there are other people who are not as lucky as they are for whatever reasons. Uh, I happen to be born with congenital glaucoma. And so when I came from Puerto Rico to the United States, uh, it was a brand new world for me because in Puerto Rico, education for the blind in 1945 was kind of non-existent in a sense. And the only things that we were taught were menial things. And so when I came to America and I learned to read Braille, I educated myself because I became a bookworm. Just imagine though, if books were not allowed to be translated into Braille. Uh, and of course now we have the advantage of audio books. So I feel that any laws keeping us from having these materials should be really, if I had my way, I would abolish them because, uh, as I said, nobody's going to make a profit here on these things. So I hope that what I've said uh, gets to you and that you do something about this. Don't let it lag. And thank goodness for WIPO uh, that's looking out for the rights uh, of people with visual impairments. So uh, help us out. Do what you have to do and don't delay.